Hey everyone, uh, wanted to share something that um, I've been working on in the background uh, for, a, for about a month or so, um, which has to do with coffee, but more on how uh, my brain works and efficiencies that we, we have in the shop, and that is um, grinding coffee. You see, when we're grinding coffee in our commercial machines here, or when you're grinding at home, you notice that there's a lot of like dust particles and static electricity that gets built up. And when we're grinding that in our shop and we're pouring that coffee into the bags, that static electricity actually um, has the coffee grounds stuck inside the bag. And when we're sealing them, it doesn't seal properly. So we usually have to like, you know, wipe it around and it's very annoying. What we've been doing for the past, I would say two years <clears throat> is actually spraying the beans before we grind the coffee. That water, very little, uh, helps dissipate the static electricity and the coffee grounds that come inside the bag are nice and clean and there's nothing stuck around the walls. Here, let me show you. Spray bottle, pss, pss, and that's it. Um, you know, we grind about 30 to 40 bags a day uh, for our online orders and you know it's pretty manual sometimes the water runs low it's kind of annoying so I created a system that does it for me automatically um, and the system I used is uh, a microcontroller think of it as a small little computer there's a brand an Italian brand called Arduino um, which helps you kind of connect wires and motors and sensors and all this stuff which is really neat the problem is I don't know how to do any of that stuff and the other challenge is you have to program code, like language, in order to do that, which again, I'm not an expert. But ChatGPT is, and here's what I did. So what we're looking at here is the back of our commercial coffee grinders. This guy right here is the water reservoir that contains the water that sprays inside the coffee grinder. This gray box and this black box control has the all the little circuitry and the microcontroller that I mentioned in a nice clean watertight uh, box. And the way it works is you see these black wires, those go from the water into a motor. You can see the top of the motor here and the top of the motor here. And then the motor takes the water and runs it inside the coffee grinder right here and all the way in here and it sprays it based on a sensor that I install, which I'm gonna show you here next. So what we're at looking at here is the actual hopper. So this is where we would put the coffee beans and then we would grind the coffee. And this little circle that you see back here, that's the sensor. So whenever it senses that there's beans in here, it'll trigger the motor and the water comes out of this tiny little hole. And it's not a lot, it's probably like five milliliters of water. And that's enough to dissipate all of the static electricity. And here's the other one that I set up. So here's how it works. Okay, so I put a towel here because I didn't want water to come inside, but basically whenever it senses motion, it'll see that little red dot, and then water will come out of this little squirt, like I mentioned, and the system will just run the water, and then we can start grinding and everything will work well. Here's how it works. <clears throat> we have a little LCD monitor here that says coffee detected, and now look what happens. So that's it. And then it'll count down to 30 because we're grinding the coffee and we don't want the water to continually run. And then once it's done after 30 seconds, then it'll see if there's uh, coffee beans and wash and repeat. And that again, keeps the coffee nice and clean, no static electricity, makes that sealing the bag super easy.